This 15 by 5 metre strip of land might not look that dramatic, but it represents one of Britain's most threatened habitats, heathland, which in parts of the country has disappeared by a massive 90% during the last century. This strip was rescued from Dorset, where it faced destruction by a housing development and relocated here in Marwell Wildlife in Hampshire. It wasn't just to save the vegetation, this soon became a vitally important enclosure for one of our rarest reptiles. We have only six reptile species in the UK, three lizards and three snakes, and the most threatened is the sand lizard. few adults basking in the sun there. How many have you got in the enclosure? We've got about 20 adults all together. Right. And are they difficult to breed? Uh, they're not, no, because we keep them in natural conditions and uh, they just get on and do their own thing, really. In the mating season, male sand lizards develop striking green flanks, making them our brightest reptile. Females lay their eggs in loose, sandy soil, so to make egg collection easier, the enclosure has a strip of pure sand round the edge, which makes for very easy digging. The females tend to produce about f between 5 and 15 eggs uh, per clutch, and we remove the eggs from the enclosure and incubate them so that we improve the success of hatching, uh, and then we can raise the youngsters separately. And the juveniles are up here, are they? Yes, they certainly are. We spread them out uh, amongst all of these um, small um, raising enclosures. Wow, they're lovely. How old are they then? These guys um, are between five and six weeks old. So they've got a bit of a head start on the ones in the wild? They then? certainly do, yes. Um, we give them additional food um, whilst they're in the enclosure and we try and grow them nice and big so they have uh, a good chance for hibernation over the coming winter. How on earth are you going to get hold of all of those? Well, it's all hands <laughs> on deck. We're going to dive in there and we're going to grab them all. Six. It's tiny. You can't feel the weight of it on your hand, it's that small. How many is that? That's it, we managed to get 65, so there's one or two left, but they can stay here for the winter and go out next year. 400 captive bred lizards will be released in England and Wales this year, and we're reintroducing a quarter of those today at two sites in Dorset. Nick Moulton of Amphibian and Reptile Conservation believes the young lizards' head start raises their survival chances in the wild from only 5% to around 30%. Good spot. This, this is absolutely perfect. Here at Puddletown, the Forestry Commission's been intensively restoring heathland. They've turned this site into pristine habitat in only 10 years, three times faster than usual. Will they stick together or are they, they're just going to disperse? Yeah, for a couple of days they'll hang around just here, and then naturally disperse through time. First one out, off you go. Woo! A little bit <laughs> like, to oh, the start big with. wide world. But this is a superb position because it's got all this open sand, and they can actually dig straight into this within the next couple of days, get themselves a couple of holes, just to hibernate over on the winter. Brilliant. Cold-blooded reptiles need the heat of the sun to stay active. The remaining lizards need to be released at the second site before they become too slow to find shelter and protection from predators. And it's interesting that it's taken us about 20, 30 minutes to actually get here. Is that indicative of the fact that heathlands are quite disparate now? Dorset used to have four huge areas of heath uh, before the development started. Now it's a couple of hundred small penny packets, all kind of cut to pieces, uh, dissected by roads. And uh, with the reintroduction, it's lit literally just giving the animals a helping hand. We actually reckon the animals have got a massively, you know, superb fighting chance for the future. That's good news. So much of Britain's wildlife habitat has been lost during the last century, and often by accident rather than by design. But the reintroduction of beautiful animals like the sand lizard reminds us that changes can be made and we can bring some of our ecosystems back from the brink. Right, off you go, little fella.